I just want to start out this video saying that I'm going to be making a cornhole board. Everything's already been cut out. These right here are one by four by four. These over here are one by four by 22 and a half. Um, I believe these are right around 11 inches, 11 and a quarter, something like that. The, uh, the plywood, I've already cut the hole out. Um, it's a lot easier to do it off camera than it is to do it trying to juggle out where the camera is going to go. Um, that is a two by four. It is a half sheet because half sheets are a lot less expensive. Um, that is, uh, one of those is like $20 at Home Depot. Um, it is a sanded plywood, meaning it looks the same on the other side that it does on this side, somewhat. Uh, I believe the sides that I chose had the better finishes on them. Um, all of these boards, or at least these four boards, are one by four by four, because that's what you need for the sides. The, uh, the, the four over there was uh, two more of these boards. You can buy a one by four by six and get the four boards out of it. Sorry, I'm doing that in my, my head, but yeah, I believe you can get the four boards out of it. Problem is every six foot board I looked at had like, uh, it basically went like this. So the four foot boards were so much straighter. Uh, these right here, are one by three by four and I actually purchased two of them in order to make um, sorry I am still thinking about that in my head yeah I made I, I bought two of them in order to make four of them um, I had a, a small hiccup at the beginning uh, did not do the cut right so I was kind of glad I bought two of them. You can buy a one by three by six and get it all out of it and have a little bit left over at the end. Um, let me zoom in here to the bolts. See if I can get in as close as I can. So these are five sixteenths washers, five sixteenths wing nuts, and the bolts are two inch five sixteenths bolts. They are get you one of these and then zoom in on it a little bit Oop, right about there so you have the threading and then you have the metal piece this actually makes it uh, so they slide a little bit better when you're you know you're turning them it it opens a lot better so basically I'm just going to uh, relatively show you how to put it together um, Hopefully you all understand. I'm not using staples or anything like that. I might use a brad nailer if I don't believe the glue is going to hold right. But uh, everything else past this point is I'm going to speed it up. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the show. If you need any more information, drop a comment below. And I'll, uh, I'll give you a detailed plan or I'll find one online and I'll, I'll link it for you. Hope you enjoy the video. So after some lightly sanding, when I say light, I went over it with 120 grit. And then I lay everything out. I make sure my clamps are available. And then uh, you make sure you got some tape. I don't know if this is gonna be needed or not, but uh, I'm gonna use it nonetheless. Cause for squeeze out, I don't want to have to go back and have to resand it. Um, I use Type On 3. It's actually uh, my go to stuff because it is waterproof and is made for using it outside. So basically, you lay it out and you make sure that these little um, uh, pieces where the bolts go are facing upward. It's very important that they're facing upward. Uh, because if one's facing upward and one's facing downwards, then the whole thing is uh, 
pretty pretty much foobar and you have to start over again um, so make sure you pay attention to you know how it's being laid out so let's get uh, let's get going here There's a small little imperfection right here. Unfortunately, these might be four feet, but this was not four feet. And uh, it's unfortunate. I already had a frame up and, and, and ready before I ever tried to uh, put the plywood on to match it up. And that's unfortunately my fault, but I actually enjoy it. I think it's really cool, even with that little small lip, because uh, in the future plans, I can actually put an LED strip going that'll actually uh, form outward and give me another little LED kind of pattern. I just don't have any way of powering and battery operated any as of right now. Um, the only thing I have to finish on it is I have to tuck in the uh, the uh, the wire. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but uh, yeah, you can right about there. So unfortunately, I just have to tuck that up underneath. But uh, as a birthday present goes, I think these uh, I think these will work. Um, if you needed any information on how to build them, any help whatsoever, drop a comment below. Subscribe, like if you like it, don't like if you don't like it. Um, any help I can give you, I will. I uh, hope you have a great day um, and a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching.